Ayan, come. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please take a seat. Thank you. So, I noticed from your DAF that you are from uh, Bhopal. Yes, sir. Uh, Bhopal has been voted as the cleanest city in India? Amongst the cleanest cities, yes, sir. Why? And since when has this been going on? What are some of the initiatives that the city administration has taken? Uh, sir, over the last three years, Bhopal has been amongst the top three cleanest cities of India. Uh, sir, I would say overall in Madhya Pradesh, there has been quite an emphasis on cleanliness. As we have seen in Indore, it has been the cleanest city yes. across the last five years. It has become a people's mission, sir. I would say rather than initiatives, it is more that the people themselves are trying to keep the city clean. That has been the major reason, sir. And the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, tell us something about that. Yes, sir. So the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan was launched in 2014 to make India a completely clean city following uh, the ideas. Clean city? Uh, sorry, sir. Clean India. Uh, following the ideas of Gandhiji. This has ensured a redu reduction in waste, in cleanliness, people don't litter, there are enough bins and many other such measures, sir. Okay. Uh, but uh, the ban on plastics that the government introduced, do you think that is working? Because vendors are still using single-use plastics and people are still uh, buying and selling vegetables uh, through those. What is the solution? So there has definitely been a significant reduction in the use of plastics. So I would definitely call it a success because over time things get uh, we reach a level of 100%, but I would say it has been working quite well. So the solution would be to use more of alternatives such as paper bags or cheap cloth bags, which are also being done in many places, sir. No, but why have we, since you are an electrical engineer, why have we not been able to first popularize the use of, uh, you know, those alternatives to plastic before going in for the complete ban on plastic, which in any case, as you and I have seen, is not working fully? So the major reason is that the plastic bags are much cheaper than other alternatives and it has been uh, going on since uh, many years. So the street vendors find it more profitable to simply continue with that. One reason can also be the lack of awareness, sir. In small uh, villages or towns, often people do not know about such bans. So definitely some more uh, information dissemination can be done. And uh, technology wise, sir, already there has been going research on alternatives in terms of uh, more biodegradable plastics or using paper in a better manner. So that will definitely improve in the coming years, sir. Now from your DAF, I have seen that your extracurricular interests include chess, bullet bug house 960. What is bullet, what is bullet and what is bug house? Uh, sir, bullet bug house and 960 are all three variants of chess, sir. Oh, I see. So tell us about 960. I mean, 360 I knew, but what is 960? Uh, sir, chess 960 is a variant also called Fisher random in which the initial positions are randomized. Sir, the word 960 comes from the 960 possi 960 possible combinations. It is usually called 960 and uh, yes sir, it is quite an innovative game. Uh, Who is the current world chess champion? Uh, sir, Magnus Carlsen. Now recently there was a big controversy involving Magnus Carlsen and another player whom he accused of cheating. Yes sir. Whom did he accuse of cheating? Uh, sir, it was Hans Niemann. And do you think Hans Niemann cheated? Because he has denied it, but a case has been filed now, defamation and what not. Yes. Uh, sir, definitely there is uh, there are both arguments for uh, him having cheated and also for him not having cheated. Sir, uh, I would say that because he has admitted to having cheated in the past, that is quite a thing that speaks about his personality that perhaps there is a high chance he may have cheated. Uh, sir, chess.com has analyzed his uh, rating progress over the last uh, few years and found an abnormal pattern. At the same time, sir, I do not believe we should levy any allegations, allegations on him because it was an on the board chess where cheating is very difficult, sir. So without any proof, we should not move forward with it. Sir. Last question, shifting to a completely different area. India is hosting the G20 presidency. What is the theme of our G20 presidency? Uh, sir, it is one world, one earth, one future. Based on the Vasudev Kutumbakam slogan, sir. Why is the G20 presidency important? Uh, sir, it is a major opportunity for India to become a global leading player. And G20 where there is where there used to be economic focus, but now we have diversified. So India can use this platform to emphasize on in uh, areas such as uh, anti-terrorism, climate change. It will also poise India as a major leader and it will also help in other uh, UNSC bid and other such uh, initiatives also, sir. I'll pass you on to the chairman, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, we all are the part of incredible India, but now slowly and gradually we are moving towards intolerant India. Right. So what is your opinion on this? Ma'am, I would not say that uh, we are becoming intolerant. 
Uh, yes, there are a few instances every now and then about intolerance. But I would say as a whole, India is definitely progressing and we are becoming more open-minded and tolerant, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, your name is Ayan Jain. Yes, ma'am. belong to Jain community. Yes, ma'am. Recently, I've been noticing that all youngsters, especially from Jain community, they are taking Diksha uh, in, at a very early age. I mean, why? You know, giving up all the luxury, everything, and you're moving towards Diksha. What are the major reasons for that? Uh, yes, ma'am. There was recently the case of a nine-year-old taking Diksha. Ma'am, uh, reasons, ma'am, one could definitely be the overall influence of the community about how people are living more uh, peaceful lives, Jain as Jain community itself has a grown in influence, for example, in prosperity. Do you support Diksha? Ma'am, I think on a voluntary basis, it, it is acceptable, ma'am. But uh, I believe such young people of age 9 or 10 who do not have enough uh, rational faculty to decide whether they should take this or not, they should be or uh, they should not be allowed, ma'am. Perhaps there should be age limits. Overall, ma'am, I feel it is a voluntary decision and people should be allowed, ma'am. My question is, do you support Diksha? Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, I think, yes ma'am, beyond a particular age, I would support it, but not a complete allowance to an So you're against of all these people, especially uh, young, the dollars, they are taking Diksha. So you are not in a favor of youngsters to take Diksha, especially young age. Ma'am, I feel uh, that the people who are taking Diksha must have enough uh, maturity to understand the consequences and the entire process. Only then they should be allowed. Good, good. Apart from that, I can see you got 10 on 10. Then you got 95% in 12th standard. On top of that, you got 9.86 in your BTEC. Yes, ma'am. Why not engineering services? Or why can't you move uh, to become a good engineer rather than civil servant? Ma'am, definitely that is also an option, ma'am. Engineering services is also an area where I would like to contribute. Ma'am, perhaps it was more a decision that civil services would allow me a more uh, diverse, op diverse set of opportunities, ma'am, working at the grassroots in areas like education or health. Hence, ma'am, this decision. Rest I can see, uh, yes, you were part of National Association for Blind Women. Yes, ma'am. What is the agenda of National Association for Blind Women? Uh, ma'am, one of a few agendas, ma'am. One is to provide them to increase their self-esteem, self-respect. Other is to also provide them with skills, for example, using computers. Other, ma'am, it also helps in uh, placements and pre-placements. And ma'am, overall, it is a place where they can stay, ma'am. Uh, there is residence also and uh, they learn a lot. They're able to spend time with people. So ma'am, overall it uh, boosts their self-esteem and helps them feel a part of society without any uh, disability, so to say. Okay. I pass on to Chairman, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Zayam. How Good are morning. you? Good, sir. Thank you. Um, now that you are a bright student of uh, IIT, in recent times, uh, the numbers of IITs are going up. And another aspect that we keep hearing is that uh, we are short of good faculty. So do you think uh, we are diluting the brand identity of the IITs because the numbers are going up but the good teachers, it's very difficult to find? Sir, I would not say that we are diluting, sir. Uh, yes, sir, the number has risen now. There are 23 IITs. Uh, and perhaps, sir, one could argue that the new IITs are not yet doing as well as the older IITs. But this is one primary reason is because they are new, sir. And over the next 10 or 15 years, they would definitely be doing great as well, sir. So, no, the one existential question that remains is that many bright students like Mr. Jan, who is sitting before us, would not want to go on to become an IIT professor. So where do, you get, do, I, do we get the bright faculty? Because the shortage of quality faculty is a fact. Uh, sir, I would say that even uh, the situation regarding faculty is definitely improving, sir. In IIT Delhi, myself, I have seen uh, many of my friends who wanted, who want to become professors, who are pursuing research. And also some of my professors were themselves graduates from IIT Delhi or IIT Bombay, sir. Mm -hmm. So definitely there has been an improvement. And sir, in newer IITs also, people are getting attracted. Sir, as uh, salaries are very good, research opportunities are excellent. So some of the best faculties will be attracted, sir. In today's newspaper, Indian Express, the headline says that the many students gravitate uh, towards areas, subject or disciplines that is beyond their core competence. That is what they have studied. Many of them want to become IS officers like you. So how the supply of the bright students in order to go on to become teachers would be maintained? Because what I'm saying that it's not anecdotal, but rather it is backed by um, the studies that how the IIT is short of teachers. But anyway, let's change it a bit. Your mathematics is your optional subject. Yes. 
in our country we had a very very long historical tradition of the bright the mathematical luminaries but in the present times uh, all over india the mathematics appears to be kind of a scare for children a s e r survey yes proves it so why do you think uh, that uh, the mathematics teaching in our country uh, is, is is rather lagging and uh, the students are scared of mathematics uh, sir i would say that mathematics tends to have a polarizing effect some students love mathematics very much and polarizing effect uh, sir in terms of dividing people uh, in terms of how they like mathematics uh, very sorry if i use the wrong word sir no it's okay uh, sir what i have seen with uh, myself and my friends some of us sir uh, they found maths to be their favorite subject it was the absolute best subject they liked whereas the other sir found mathematics to be their least liked or the most scary subject i i'm yet to find someone who finds mathematics to lie in between sir uh, sir perhaps this is one due to the way teaching is done in india mathematics sir is taught very rigorously in a very uh, rigid manner uh, rigid uh, the rigidity and rigorousness of mathematics is emphasized on which uh, prevents flexibility and open mindedness this might uh, scare away some children sir who may not be able to follow or who may not be able to use their creativity uh, sir i also feel that mathematics teaching should be more practical using sir for example origami or 3d modeling rather than being entirely theoretical sir then people will be able to relate then it would definitely gain in popularity sir have you heard of mathematical labs in schools and yes, how sir. do they work are they is it a good way to motivate the students to take mathematics uh sir i believe it is a work in progress sir uh, labs are definitely there and uh, sir they might be serving their purpose in some areas but in uh, backward areas or in some other places they are they require a lot of improvement sir uh, mr jain you are a very smart uh, person work in progress uh, the faculty status is improving so many such things that you are saying okay one last thing uh, sir lanka is sitting at the top of indian ocean and the many many important the trade routes pass through that it has got the very important uh, strategic importance for india as well so can you tell us in the recent times that uh, how sri lanka appears to have been alienated from india uh, sir when i would say due to the economic crisis it had uh, due to its links with china it uh, requested a lot of help from india and while we did extend a lot of help perhaps we were not able to match their expectations second sir perhaps the bigger issue is regarding uh, the status of tamilians in sri lanka who have also be always often been the victims of persecution or discrimination which sir, tends to alienate sri lanka from india in recent times india has been very generous with sri lanka for example international monetary fund the india has given the the financial guarantee for their loans have you read about that uh, sir i will check about it sir I, yes i do recall vaguely not uh, precisely sorry sir okay thank you thank you sir Uh, Ayan, you studied in Sanskrit school. Yes, sir. Mm, do you know when it was founded? Uh, sir, the foundation stone was laid in 1998, as far as I recall. Sir. And uh, why do you think a Sanskrit school was founded? What was the objective? Uh, sir, one of the major reasons was to provide a, a schooling for the persons in services, such as civil services, because they have to move to different states. so it becomes difficult to find a school sir yeah very very correct answer so why then there was a reservation of 25% for non civil servant children why uh, sir i need went up to the court and uh, court uh, found it uh, correct that some uh, the, the the there has to be a reservation whereas i would like to oppose it if the objective was only to make sure that civil servant children get admission otherwise they were not able to come from the cadre it was disturbing the cadre management system so what is your you didn't come from the civil service family did you i did sir you did yes sir so what does your father do uh, sir he is an ips officer oh he is an ips officer yeah correct so in in that case in that case you should justify that it should be 100% for civil servants because if an ips officer comes to delhi and he uh, has to beg uh, a school principal for admission of the child for your admission so that is why on the representation of the ias association this school was set up so why could it not be 100% for uh, civil service children uh, sir i do not recall the exact reasons may i uh, still attempt 
Uh, sir, I believe it was uh, to prevent uh, elitism from creeping into the school, from it becoming 100% dominated by civil services, so that, sir, that it does not create a divide amongst civil services and non-civil services. This led to a lot more inclusive schooling, sir. Hmm. But I don't think that was a reason given there is a public money and public money cannot be spent exclusively on yes. some section. That was a kind of logic. Now, you were a member of the NSS and you mentioned a collection drive. Yes. Sir. What was that drive? Uh, sir, it was a clothes collection drive. We went from uh, in, inside the IIT campus itself, we went from house to house to collect old clothes, blankets, which were then donated, sir. Oh, the collection drive, uh, uh, clothes. Yes, sir. Okay. Donated where? Uh, sir, we collaborated with an NGO, Goonj. So, from NSS point of view, sir, our role was to collect and sort and remove any torn or uh, dirty clothes. Then, sir, the donation and distribution was done by Goonj, sir. When was NSS founded? Uh, sir, 1968, if I recall correctly, sir. 1969. Sorry, sir. And do you know the significance of 1969? Uh, yes, sir. It was the 100th birth anniversary of Gandhi Ji, sir. Okay. And what is the motto of NSS? Uh, sir, it is not me, but you. But you. And one final question, National Blind Association. How many persons, uh, percent of Indians are blind? Uh, sir, I am remembering 0.4%, but I will check about it, sir. Okay. And um, uh, it is said that 80% of blindness is preventable. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Uh, sir, I do not recall the exact statistics, but more than two-thirds definitely is preventable, sir. It is occurs due to uh, retinal uh, diseases in incubation phase or due to cataract, also due to glaucoma, sir. Okay. Hey, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, just one question. If mathematics did not exist in the world, what would be the world? What would be the world like if mathematics did not exist? Uh, sir, the world would be like what it was like uh, two thousand years ago. I would say, yeah. sir, yeah. physics yeah. would not have yeah. developed. Uh, construction would not have been possible, many other activities, science would not have developed. Uh, life would still continue, sir, as it did before. Agriculture would be there, perhaps in a primitive manner. So, uh, yes, sir, the modern life would not exist. I would say. Uh, Ayan, you are an absolutely sir, outstanding sir. Uh, student, one of the best we have interviewed. Uh, what happened in your first attempt? Uh, sir, I was not able to clear prelims. How come? Prelims. Yes. Uh, sir, it was both due to strategic mistakes and also due to the mistakes on the exam day. Sir, I did not uh, analyze adequately, I feel. I uh, followed the wrong material or I focused wrong, uh, a bit more on areas which I should not have. And on the exam day also, sir, I should have focused more on the exam taking strategy, the time management, which I learned from my first attempt and corrected in the second, sir. How have you done your mains this time in mathematics? Uh, it went well, sir. Then I really expect you to be in the top 10 because... Uh, with the yes, permission. Please. You just said that 2000 years ago, but 2000 years ago, the many civilizations, including Indian civilization, the mathematics has developed at a very sophisticated levels and it was used for the various uh, astronomical calculations and other calculations. No, the question was if mathematics did not exist at all, which means... Yes. He said that the world will be like the 2000 years back the way it was, <laughs> but 2000 yes. years back mathematics still was very sorry, alive sir. and kicking and thriving. Uh, sir, I should have said 3000 years ago, sorry sir. <laughs> Or maybe even, because even, even the pyramids are based yes. on, you know, pi and things like that. Mm. Yes. Uh, no, no, I think you are an excellent candidate. You give very composed answers, uh, you know, very thoughtful answers. Uh, uh, your values seem to be very sound. Uh, so we feel that you have all the attributes uh, uh, yeah. to get into the civil service. But, you know, in the civil service, you are supposed to uh, examine both points of view. So, I suppose the proposition is that the math should be abolished and the world would have been a happier place without maths. Please argue. Uh, sir, life would have been simpler definitely. From students point of view, perhaps they would have been happy not to study a subject which they fear a lot. And uh, perhaps sir, life would have been less materialistic and more focused on spirituality. That may have led to a more uh, peaceful and happy life, sir. Mm, yeah, very, very good. Because I am a votary of the abol abolition of maths. Yes. It's particularly after class 8. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, uh, uh, the Ayan, you did uh, brilliantly, no doubt. Thank you, sir. You're a very the smart candidate, extremely well dressed, and, uh, strict to this dress. Uh, you haven't shaved probably today. Uh, sir, I trimmed. I think I will shave, sir. No, yes, yes. Uh, you should shave. And instead of sitting in this uh, yes. attention mudra, if you put your hands together, that's more relaxed. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, 
two things which we advise everybody and they will be helpful to you when is your interview uh, sir i have not got the date yet you haven't got it so that is Beyond good March. for you so you get a lot more time two things one that questions are asked from daf as you would have noticed yes. every single question came from here mm. yes and sir. that is the possibility in the main interview also so master your daf yes sir I uh, you know I make a mathematical model from here how many questions can you call out can you call out 100 questions 110 20 possible question you know for instance bhopal alone can lead to 20 yes. questions <coughs> so and to sit down to uh, two or two three hours of intellectual exercise yes it will be very interesting so uh, call out possible questions and ob- obviously that will enable you to be ready with the answer Secondly, uh, being up to date on news, uh, current yes. news and current affairs. What newspaper do you read? Uh, sir, I have been a bit irregular. I have been following coaching material, sir. Uh, yes. I will read newspaper from now. You may immediately, yes, uh, immediately sir. from today. And what newspapers will you take? Uh, sir, I was suggested Times of India and Indian Express, sir. Yeah, Times of India actually is uh, personally I don't know uh, some people uh, who do you read Times of India. No. anyone yes. who has any opinion but uh, indian express certainly yes. and indian express and hindu so this seems to be a good and favorite yes. combination otherwise if uh, if not hindu at least an economic paper which could yes. be economic, economic time, times yes. economic time okay so i'm going to dive down from the same group you economic time and start a diary okay. today although you are an it man but uh, if you die in a diary write in your own hand five items every day Okay, yes. Yeah, take note. One item, one page. Even if the answer is two lines, but I keep one page for it. Yes. So that there is a space for expanding it later as the story develops. Okay. Yes. These two things will prepare you well. Do you have any question? Uh, no, sir. No. Your uh, just yes. thing. Your non-verbal communication is perfectly all right. Your knees and feet should be parallel. If possible. Yeah. Also, because, you know, uh, your, now now it's yes. okay. Also, so it's you know, your legs are uh, 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 too far behind. If you just bring them forward a little, a little more, a little more. Yeah, yeah. This is more normal. Yes. Because uh, now you were uh, you were looking uncomfortable unnecessarily. Okay. You are so good. So on top of that, Ayan, when you speak, you actually you know move your finger very frequently. Okay. Constantly, rather I can say. So probably you're nervous. So just yes. make sure that you know you don't move your fingers. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, you know the gesticulation actually is a part of verbal communication. Otherwise, it will make you stiff. You are moving your fingers and okay. parallelly both hands together. So once you are conscious of it, yes. So, so look, we are. I'm using my hand. If okay. I was to answer all these questions, the use of hand is in communication. Actually, is all right. Uh, we don't want you to be stiff. Idea is to make you lo- look relaxed. Yes, sir. So, therefore, with the permission from ma'am, uh, I'll find a suitable uh, legal uh, section. Uh, so, uh, this is part of your this is part of your free speech. Yes. Okay. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, but really, you are an outstanding candidate. Because, because candidate you know, Acha. Otherwise, her concern was that some people are. You know, yes. all the yes. time. So, with the result, the eyes go on that. Yes. You did it occasionally, but say, say you are silly. If you think you did it excessively, then that has to. Uh, Understood. Yes. You know, otherwise, the little bit of hand gesture is very expressive. That's the expression. Yes. Okay. All the best, Ayan. You, you are hundred percent going to make it. Thank you, sir. Very well done. Thank you, sir.